Dear participants of the conference, let me present the findings of our research under the title A Statistical Profile of Color Terms in Irving Stone's Biographical Novel about Vincent van Gogh, a corpus-based approach. This research was conducted by a team of scholars, including Olena Levchenko, Oksana Levitska, and me, Marianna Dilai, representing the Polytechnic National University, Shevchenko Institute of Literature, and Ukrainian Academy of Printing. Colors are a professional tool for artists. They are biographical fiction writers and art scholars. This tool is complex and multifaceted and requires separate research on color terms. The study of artistic biographical prose uh, about painters yields more effective results when using interdisciplinary approaches, incorporating methodologies from various fields, including the application of corpus technologies. Uh, the aim of this research is to explore the potential application of corpus methods to analyze biographical texts about painters, analyze the peculiarities of using color terms in such works, identify patterns in the creation of color terms by the writer in comparison with the color palette of the artist's uh, canvas, and uh, develop a statistical profile of color terms in the analyzed text. The research material is the biographical novel by uh, American writer Irving Stone, A Last for Life, about a Dutch painter, Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh is a post-impressionist painter, uh, one of the most famous and influential colorists in uh, in his oil, pastel, and um, watercolor works, he employed a rich palette of pure colors, semitones, and uh, nuanced shades. Van Gogh discovered uh, color gradually, experimenting with hues and uh, uh, contemplating the role of uh, colors in painting. Digital technologies are constantly evolving and uh, actively used for the analysis of works of art. For example, in 2019, the results of the study on the use of the CIE lab color space for analysis, the analysis of colors in Van Gogh's oil paintings were published. Uh, this study used a novel method, uh, which is um, identifying the color distribution of oil paintings from color volume analysis. In our research, we apply uh, corpus methodology, a corpus approach. A focus subcorpus of the text of the novel Last for Life was created in the sketch engine. Uh, to determine the frequency of color terms, a preliminary list of 56 color terms was compiled. Uh, the text of the novel features 23 color terms with different frequencies given in this table. In addition, the words color and tone are high frequency in the text, which is logical and consistent with the thematic focus of the novel. Uh, it was interesting for us uh, to compare the obtained results with the data presented by Noga Zaslavsky and her colleagues, uh, taken from the American English data set as well as with data from the Corpus of Contemporary American English. The actual uh, sequence of color terms on the frequency list is distinctive. Uh, in the studied novel, the color term black exhibits the highest frequency, and in the corpora used for comparison, it surpasses the lexeme white. Um, in Stone's novel, it is fourth. Yellow and blue are second and uh, third in, uh, in frequency of use in the text of the novel Last for Life. But according to Noha Zaslavsky and uh, her colleagues and the coca, they are fifths and sevenths, uh, respectively. This histogram shows that the color term black exhibits the highest frequency in the studied novel. It is important to know that the frequency, the high frequency of the color term black 
in the initial chapters of the analyzed text is its characteristic feature and can be explained by the chronological presentation of the artist's biography and iconography in Stone's novel. While working as a missionary in a Belgian uh, minery town, Van Gogh saw a lot of black around mines, miners, uh, outfit, skin, and their way of life almost devoid of daylight and color. The artist wrote extensively about it in his letters and depicted it in dark tones in his paintings and drawings. Consequently, the writer accurately conveyed it um, in the novel through color references. Um, in these chapters, black is intentionally dense. Uh, below, well, here on this slide, we provide a few quotes from Stone and uh, reproductions of Van Gogh's works to illustrate it. The author of the novel notes that the artist paints using charcoal. The diagram shows that the uh, author uses uh, the color black throughout the novel with the exception of few chapters, but its uh, context changes. Uh, at the end of the novel, black is no longer used to describe people, but rather coffee, velvet, uh, stone, hair, eyes, uh, which can be easily tracked using corpus analysis methods. Following the descending order of color terms frequencies in the novel, the next ones are yellow, blue, and uh, their shades. For yellow, lemon, gold, for blue, ultramarine, uh, azure, uh, indigo, lavender. So these um, color terms are significantly more frequent in the second part of the novel. Uh, so uh, our results show that uh, the distribution of the use of the color terms black and yellow uh, are distinctive. So black dominates in the initial parts of the text, while yellow dominates in the final parts. Throughout two thirds of the novel, yellow, for example, appears rarely and with low, with low frequency. The author seems to prefer shades of his color, of this color, rather than a pure color. So yellow is used to describe the artist's hair, sand. Waves of the Thames, paper, sun, leaves, cheese, a lamp, and bright yellow, lemon yellow appears in the work in Arles, where the artist come, came in a search of light for creativity and uh, most uh, uh, fully manifested his uh, talent as a colorist. Concerning the shades of yellow, the following are found in the novel. Lemon yellow, um, sulfur yellow, dirty yellow, dark yellow, golden yellow, yellow red. In both Van Gogh's works and Stone's text, yellow becomes an accent color. The most frequent collocation is yellow house, which is the house of his dreams, where the artist wanted to and create a home for like-minded artists. And as already mentioned, one of the key colors in the text of the novel is blue. Uh, we encounter a variety uh, of shades of uh, blue. You can see them here on this, uh, on this slide. The frequency of the use of the color term white is relatively balanced in the text of the novel. And uh, the frequency of the color term red and the names of uh, shades of red is relatively high uh, in, uh, in the text of the novel. In 2020, Ukrainian translation of the novel by Anna Markovska was published. Uh, the use of uh, purpose-based methods of analysis of color terms based on the original text and translations also provide data for comparative uh, conclusions. 
and uh, can be a subject of new research. Uh, for example, in the um, course of our study, we found that uh, the frequency of the color term red in the translation is much lower than in the original, which could be explained by the difference in the semantics of English red and Ukrainian Czerwony. Here you can see some examples. Biographers and art historians have devoted numerous studies to explain how Van Gogh um, discovered color and how it influenced his palette, uh, themes, uh, subjects, and techniques. Stone writes, he quickly learned that a colorist is one who, seeing a color in nature, knows at once how to analyze it and say, that gray-green is yellow with black and hardly any blue. So in this study, we focus on the color terms that reflect the painting um, experience, experiments in the novel. The result of the quantitative analysis of color terms show that Stone's text demonstrates sensitivity to Van Gogh's color palette. Uh, the writer professionally describes uh, the names of paints, uh, pigments, uh, that are important for the artist's uh, work. The author often resorts to the ekphrastic description of the artist's paintings, focusing more on color than on imagery or, or plot. Uh, Irene, uh, Stone's um, novel was written in the 1930s when Van Gogh's letters went out of print and um, uh, interest in his works uh, grew significantly. At that time, the strategies of writing a biography uh, about artists uh, were focused on the detailed study of biographical facts, uh, documents, artworks, uh, um, catalogs, albums. The biographer worked with original works or uh, reproductions in albums. Modern digital technologies um, allow both authors and biographical works of biographical works and uh, researchers to group research objects according to various criteria. For example, reproductions can be grouped by genre, uh, chronology, size, technique, and importantly for us, by color. Uh, for example, filtering Van Gogh's works on the Van Gogh Museum website allows us to uh, illustrate and confirm our findings based on corpus lexical studies of the text of uh, the biographical novel. So we believe uh, that this method will help to highlight the shades of color, to see um, certain characteristic features and to develop a methodology of analysis. Uh, thus, in modern conditions, it will provide a toolkit for fiction writers, film script, script writers to create new texts that will more accurately convey the artist's color palette. Such an analysis can serve as the basis for translators and editors of biographical works about artists or texts about paintings, um, as it can facilitate searching, identifying uh, quantitative and qualitative characteristics, explain and analyze how color terms are related to the colors and shades of the original paintings. Thank you for attention.